There we go. Make it quick. Of course. Anything else up here? No, just not like it. Right then, well. Let's get the heck out of here. Tempted to have a little rest down here, but uh, I guess we should probably just get moving. Do they wish my ear? How are you doing for spells? You've got four magic missiles. Yes. At, um, dining here, which I suppose will will be fine for anything we happen to encounter. On our way back to Nashville. Hopefully we won't encounter anything on our way now back to Nashville, but you never know, so. I'm also gonna drink a potion. There we go. Oh, plus I've got this oil of fiery burning I completely forgot about as well, so what? there's that. A waste of my talent. Also ranged weapon, please. Thank cool. you. Yes, of course. I just feel safer having everyone equipped with ranged weapons at this point, I really do. What is up here? Oi! Oh, great news. Go for the eyes, fool! Go for the eyes! Rust! Well, that was worth quite a lot of experience, whatever it, technically speaking, was. Oh, there's more. What is that? More great news. I remember Ooze from, well, from playing Dungeons and Dragons, the, the the pen and paper RPG. But you know, I also remember it from the Dark Alliance games. Uh, <laughs> not nice stuff. But it was particularly nasty in the Dark Alliance games. It did crap tons of damage. No sooner said than done. Thankfully, it didn't pose too much of a problem for us here. So yeah, anyway, this was a it would appear this was a a back entrance. I don't know. Yeah, no, we can't go back in. Um, a little further into the cave, look, you see that it is collapsed. Look as if looks as if you're going back into the cave is now impossible. The only way, the only way through the rubble would be from the other side. So there we go. We're outside. Where though exactly? We are. Whoa, we're all the way over here. Christ. Uh, okay. Well, fine. And it's also quite late, yeah, it's two in the morning. Tread lightly. You must show respect in nature's house. Um, I think we should probably just set up camp, honestly. Uh, seems like a sound plan. Honestly, we're a little bit knackered after you after all as you can see. Um we could do with getting our spells back and all that kind of thing, so yeah, let's rest. You point I punch. Oh, I think Boo wants another story. Do you know any good stories, Dinah here? Minsk has really run out of them. That must surely be joking. I would never relate a tale to a hamster. Please, pretty please. You could tell Boo about that time you went for a swim in the Lake of Dragons and Orovar stole your clothes and then... <laughs> Minsk! I would not dare to. Um... I mean, it is not a proper story for such a young hamster. I would tell him the story of the Princess Swan and her candy castle. Peanut castle. I think that would interest Boo more. Indeed. So, once upon a time, the beautiful Princess Sunflower Seed went to a dance at the Sunflower Dale in the Peanut Forest. <laughs> Minsk, what was that about Orovar, the Lake of Dragons? It's somewhere in the Dale Lands, is it not? Sorry, Boo. Imowen wants to hear about Orovar. <laughs> We took the ne we took the same ship to Westgate with Orovar, and he really liked Dinah here. Minsk, Imowen, uh, I would appreciate it if thou would not pester our friend with this. Teach me burning hands. <laughs> it is not a joking affair. Thou could start a forest fire if thou art not careful. So Minsk, uh, what did Orovar do? <laughs> On the other hand, thou art quite cautious for a rogue. Uh, it is not Hathrin's custom to turn away one who is willing to learn. <laughs> Mayhaps I can be persuaded to teach thee. Promise? <sighs> Promise. That Orovar, he'd had a cabin by the Lake of Dragons and he invited us to stay for a week and Dinah here, she was so seasick that she was unable to travel. Minsk, uh, I think that Boo would rather hear the story about the Princess Sunflower Seed in the Peanut Castle. The stone tunnels of the Nashkel Mines constrain your dreams tonight. The twisting depths are more a nuisance than claustrophobic now. 
what with the hidden marauders dead at your feet. Deeper you tread, chuckling over your triumph at each body you see, pausing occasionally to wipe your boots clean or check the odd cobalt for coins you might have missed. There is a sound from below, and you quickly move towards it. A door opens, and before you stands, Mullahe, in no better shape than you left him. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this specter has apparently been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope, rightfully so. You brush aside the quaint blade and bring your hands around the creature's neck. A stranger's weapon simply will not suffice in this matter. You must be certain this phantom remains among the dead. It is strange, though. Doomed as he is, Mullahe still looks somewhat relieved. His visage fades within your grasp and leaves you clutching at empty air. A puzzling turn, but of little concern. The mine is yours once again. You turn to leave, but find the exit blocked. The lone dagger has become five, a skeletal set of claws that hovers before you. A talon extends and presses against your chest, and a hollow voice chills the air. You should use the tools you are given. It traces a line of ichor on your tunic, increasing in pressure. Listen to what is bred in the bone. There is a flash of motion as the claws push deep into your chest. You awake in an instant, the sound of mourning a welcome clamor. You're intact, and though tired, you are certainly not afraid. Your heart is not your weak spot. So, there we go. More disturbing dreams. Bit of a sharp change in tone, actually, after that little conversation between Minsk and Dinah here and uh, Imowin. But anyway, um, I didn't. I, did, I forgot about this actually. I didn't realize it was going to happen. Otherwise, I probably would have paused for a minute. But um, yeah, so we're having more strange dreams. It would appear slightly disturbing ones as well, honestly. Let's talk more fight. Oh, and we. Gain another spe special ability, we just Larlock's Minor Drain again, so oh, maybe we can cast that twice now? I don't know. Um, anyway, I'll check that in a second. Khalid, how come you aren't a ranger? I, uh, I am from a city. I'm not very much at home in the wilderness, even if I feel at ease in the woods when Jahir is about. Boo says all elves like nature. I am half elf Minsk. Who wonders why they say a half elf and not half human? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, half orcs are also half human. I suppose it pre prevents confusion. Huh. We thank you. Boo is very curious. <laughs> He's a very curious space hamster, and you have answered him well. <laughs> anyway. Um. So yeah, let me just look at that. What? Yeah. So I can now cast minor drain twice. You know, I, I've complete. I completely. I completely failed to pronounce what I was about to say, first and foremost, but I also completely forgot uh, to use my offensive and defensive spins in there. We didn't even have to use them. Make it quick. I am frankly impressed, actually. We're doing really bloody well, actually, as a party, I think. Ooh, getting close to leveling up. It's exciting. But yeah, no, we're doing pretty damn well as a party, and that's kind of ironic since I'm about to cut two of our party members loose. What the? An ank egg, really? Wow, all the way out here, an ank egg, fine. Um, you know what, actually? Yes. Hammer. Great sword. Yeah, you keep using that. Um. Marcus and Minsk charge. Oh great, there's wild dogs as well, wonderful. Um, let's throw a magic missile at it. Rice. Is it badly injured yet? Yep, there we go. One less egg keg to deal with. Make it quick. Now for these wild dogs. But shouldn't prove too much of a problem. Oh, I could possibly not in this. Uh, 
I said shouldn't prove too much of a problem. Thank you. Oh, that was a bit random. What have we got then? A gold ring, thank you very much, and another ankeg shell. Yes. Minsk! Let's talk about kicking for goodness! You carry the ankeg shell. Since yeah, he has a maximum carrying capacity of 320 pounds. That's ridiculous. He can carry all the ankeg shells we like. Um A waste of my talent. Right, so did we is it? Oh, I guess we must have rested for like 24 hours or something daft like that because it's 3 in the morning. Oh, whatever, let's just rest. Keep resting until the morning. Besides, it's a storm. I don't fancy going any further right now. Oh, come on, game! Give me a break. The Grillians, whatever the hell they are. Oh my goodness, get out of the way, Marcus. Oh boy. Um. Yes, oh omnipresent authority Make it quick. You've a task? Yes. Oh boy. Thanks for that game. Thanks so much. That's so ever, ever, ever so much. All I want to do is rest. Grief. Right, quick save. That does happen sometimes. Sometimes your sleep gets interrupted. Morrowind style. Um, but let's try again. Finally. Thank you. It is now 7, 7 p.m. Wow, really? Neck. Whatever. I will go with it. Right, so your end shall be quick what? if you let it. Fine, fine. The game apparently has it in for me at the minute. Uh, you there? Is your name Marcus? Hurry up and answer. Your answer better be the truth, or your for your life depends on it. Hmm. <laughs> That's a weird, weird uh, answer. That is like we're not going to tell you our name. It's like is he using the royal we then? You know, <laughs> we are not going to tell you our name. We do not concern ourselves with such matters. Um. Yeah, I think he's feeling quite cocky and brash actually after having slaughtered his way through the Nashville mines, destroyed an Ankeg, three Agrillians, and Mullahay. He's gonna be like, yeah, my name is Marcus. What of it? <laughs> Come on then, you want some? <laughs> that is good. My companions and I have tracked you for many days, and I am to give you a message. You and your friends are to die. <sighs> what a surprise! Your interference with the Iron Throne may have yeah, I know. Laugh all you want, but this came out before Game of Thrones did, so <laughs> um, may have caused some minor setbacks. But die knowing that your actions were mostly futile. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. No, it's not good at all. Um, get back, cool. Minsk. Also, get back. What? Let's engage in the range. Oh my God. Um, run. Yeah, of course. What the hell did you just do? Rigid thinking. Oh, good grief. Uh, Dina here. Can you even the odds for us a bit? I wish we weren't wearing our armor right now, because then we'd be able to. Use horror and stuff. Um, right, what have we got here then? I can't find out what any of them are. Um, well, this one looks like it, she might be the most powerful, so hit her with it instead. This magic missile thing. Stop shooting in the wind! What the hell just happened? Something exploded. Uh, heal, Emily. 
No oh, Christ, she's dead. Right, fine. Use this flame blade thing. I have no idea what it works or what it does, but use it. Go ahead. What? I mean, uh, magic missile. Oh, it's some of the oh a fiery sword. Sweet. It's too bad that we're in kind of. We can't go any further in here because of the stinking clouds. Never mind. Uh, Chihira, what are you doing? Oh, whatever. She's apparently not affected by the stinking clouds, so. What the? Oh, Minsk is still wandering off. Uh. What are you doing, Marcus? Come on. Shoot stuff. Are you going to stab things with your flaming sword? Oh my goodness. Minsk, you, uh, you just carry on mucking about in the corner over there. You can throw, use your, your last magic missile on this person over here who's apparently got billions of health points. There we go. Um, oh, use your minor drain thing. That's a good idea, actually. Uh, no, 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 it's not a spell, it's an ability. Do it. Use it again! Oh, entangle, really? Whatever this Zela is apparently pretty bloody tough. She's near death, though, thankfully. Whew. Get out of there as soon as you've got the chance. Minsk, get over here. Well, that was a bit of an embarrassing fight, but never mind. Whew. Oh yeah, Nimwin's dead. Bollocks. You're not going to have enough inventory root space to pick her stuff up, are you? New. No. What about you, Minsk? Oh yeah, you have plenty of room. Right, Minsk, you can carry Imwin and the Ankeg shell. <laughs> Well, apparently he can quite easily. Well, he's slightly over encumbered, but not enough for it to really affect him. What? And now, I would quite like this entangled thing to end, so he can go loot these bodies. Sometime today would, of course, be nice. Come on, this thing lasts for ages. It's so annoying. Jahira could in theory use Entangle, but I definitely do because, yeah, it gets in the way. So, what have we got? Plate mail armor. Does anyone here need plate mail? Ah, Jahira could use that actually. Make it quick. So I'll grab that. And pass it straight over to Jahira. There we go. Got some much better armor now. And, uh. Yes? What else was there? Helmet, some gold, a potion of power, a potion of stone form, and a mace. Let's see. Right, well, oh, damn it, I can't give those to him. Fine, I'll just give them to Minsk. Or, or not, apparently. Fine, take that, and I'll take these, I suppose. Um, and, oh, yeah, I forgot. I, why am I not wearing those? Blast it all. Blast it all! Right, you can have that. This helmet can go to someone who can actually use it like Minsk would be able to for the fact that he's... What is that? Oh, it's Imwin's Oil of Speed. Right, you can carry that for now. Oh, inventory sorting. Isn't it wonderful? Um, Minsk, you have this helmet because, yeah, you've probably been wearing a helmet this whole time, which is kind of bad, I guess, but whatever. Oh, yeah, and we've not read these letters yet, actually, from Muller, hey? I'll do that when we get back to Nashville, I think. Alright, yeah, we've got those two potions now, which I will give a stone form. Wow, arm class set to zero. That's pretty sweet. I'll give those to Jahira for now. She can dump them in her potion bag. 